what's good, Swans and Gang? You know, name is T Swans. We back with another video. Not y'all saw about the thumbnail and the title. I got a dread video for y'all now. Y'all keep asking me to do these dread retours videos. So if you wonder why I keep posting all these dread videos, the same videos over and over, look at the comments. I swear, if you go on any of my dread videos and say, how do you retwist your dreads? How do you maintain dreads? How you do this with dreads? So if y'all want them, I'm gonna just keep bringing them to y'all. But yeah, as y'all seen by the thumbnail and the title, I'm gonna show y'all how to retwist dreads. Now, every time I do these videos, my dreads get longer. But pause. Before we even get into this video, my favorite accessory is headbands, right? Your favorite accessory could be wood. I don't know. A wristband. Who wears a wristband? You could get on a jacket, a shirt, your pants, socks, another headband if you want to. Anything. Now, me, I got this headband. I got T Swansea on it. See the T and then the Swans out? Yeah! Shout out to Jasmine. Her Instagram will be down in the description. If you want your stuff to be custom made with anything you want it on for an affordable price, hit her up in the DM and tell her T Swansea sent you. But yeah, without further ado, I'm about to wash my hair first. People be showing you what they wash their hair with, but it don't really matter. Whatever work with your head, that's what work. Cause I try everything these YouTubers show me and I don't use none of that now. So you gotta go based off what works with your hair. But I'm gonna catch y'all right after I finish showering. Here comes my hair now. It's like, it's real dry. I haven't retwisted it in a minute. I don't know if it's still look good or not, but don't judge me. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. All right, so look, I'm back at my seat. You know what I'm saying? I'm done washing my hair. Y'all see it's all frizzy and stuff. You see the curls. You see the wavy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So I'm about to show y'all literally step by step of what I do because y'all want the details. So I'm about to give y'all the details. You know what I mean? So look, I got high top dreads. You see, I got high top dreads. I don't know if I can show y'all the back, but you see I got the high top dreads. So for me, this is what I do. I don't know about forge head dread people, but this is what I do. I put my hair down like the way I want it to lay when I'm done retwisting it, like this. And I grab literally like a section that faces the same exact way. Like if they are facing this way and they going down or diagonal, I grab them into a section. I do these in sections of fours. And I usually wrap it around like three to four times. I'm gonna just do three for this time. Bro, if y'all keep seeing me blinking, like I got shampoo in my eye. And it like hurt real bad. Ow, ah. Hey, y'all comment down if y'all ever got shampoo in y'all eye. Ah. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean in the front. So you see how all of these is going this way? All of these are going like towards this way. Now I grab these right here, all of this four section, all this section right here, and I go like these. This is a bigger one, so I'm gonna wrap it around a lot more. It's a bigger one with smaller dreads, so just like that. And then I go across like this. Where is it at? I go across the line from where this is at, just like this. I gotta do a sitting up so I know which ones to grab. So then I grab all the dress that's back here. Now I'm they're not perfectly split every time. Well at all. At any time. It don't matter because I still twist them the same way. Now, I do twist my hair two different ways. This side I twist it this way, and this side I twist it this way. Because I'm not about to be all the way over here trying to twist like this. So I just go this side and this side. Then I grab these, and I go like this. So yeah, there we go. I got four sections. Y'all see them? Same way as I used to do it before. All right, so now I'm about to show you how I retwist my hair on this side, and I'm going to show you how I retwist my hair on this side. Now, the two things I use, it's not really permanent, but this is the only permanent thing that I use. Hold up, let me sure it focus for y'all. This right here. That's the only thing I use so my hair won't like crunch up within like two days and get flaky. So I use this. I could only use this, but I like to feel like my hair is firmly held, like held. So I use this too. I don't really have a, hold up, focus, please. Well, y'all see it, y'all see it right here. I don't really have no like main thing that I use, but I always get this brand because it's the only brand that works for my hair. What you want to do is you want to grab, this is my right side by the way. You want to grab a dread out, out the thing, right? Out the strand. I usually start in, in the corners and I go like across or back. So I start like this. You grab a dread, right? Pop this open. We don't need that. Pop this open. No, we don't need that either. So this is what it look like. Good we snot. You can't see it. Then we got this. First, I grab this olive oil. 
this olive oil stuff. Now you can use as much as you want. I sort of use like this much, but I use, I do it two times. So I grab, I use this one to grab the dread, like to gather all the hair that's inside the dread. And then I do it again. I go like this. I do the same thing, but this time I go like this. Like literally part in the dread. I don't use comb. I don't do none of that. I just use my hands. And they say how you get perfect squares and stuff. I don't have perfect squares. My hair was never perfect squares. It just naturally formed how I twist my hair. Now, if you want perfect squares, go ahead, use a comb and all that. If that would plead to you. No, I don't want this in here. No, it don't matter. So you grab, you got the dread, right? And then you want to grab this, this orange stuff. I use about like this much, depending on the dread size. No, I don't need that much, actually. This dread kind of small. And then you just put it on there. Wait. I don't need this part in here, bro. Yeah, you gotta go. See, that's way better. So then you go like this, and then I twist it just like this. I barely, I rarely do like that. I rarely do this palm roll and stuff. I rarely do that. I only do it like when I'm bored, you know, just something different. But yeah, here you go. This is how you do this side. I forgot the clips, man. Mm. So now I got my clips. So once you do that, you see where this hair is like real shiny and then it get dull like right over here. Put the clip right there, like right where the new growth ends. And just like that, it'll stay. Now I'm about to do this side for y'all. But the people that already know how to like do this stuff and like, I gotta show the people that ask me every like single step. So I'm gonna do the same thing just for this side. Same hand, my same right hand. Do these, grab the dread up. I might need a little more cause it's a bigger, thicker dread. Thicker than my snicker. Thick like my milkshake. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Cause you make my earth work. Mm. Then you grab the gel and then you go like these. This work if you got small dreads or any sort of dread. It don't matter how long. And then I twist it with the left hand. See how I twist this one this way and I twist this one this way? Now my left side is way better than my right side. My left side is longer and my left side is like more clean and all that. Like more organized. So there we go. There you go the left side. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I do the back. Because people ask how I get perfect squares in the back and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to catch y'all when I show the back. Now look, the parts in my back, the back of my head are smaller. Now you might see some dreads with like white spots on them. That's because my cousin got paint on my hair and I'm not about to cut my dreads off. But it washes out. It's washing out slowly, so chill on me. So the parts in the back of my head are smaller. So this is my right side. You literally do the same thing. You grab the gel. I grab about like this much for the back. Rub it together. Gather up the dread. Bro, my eye is tweaking. Grab the back of the dread, split it however you want to. It don't matter. You can make it triangles, diamonds, squares, whatever you want. Depending on how much new growth you have. So I don't know if y'all can really see this. I'm not sure. Yeah, y'all probably can. So now we do it again. And I literally, I can't see the back of my head. I swear to you, this is how I do it. I just go based off my dread and where I'm pulling the hair from. And then I get this orange gel. Get the orange gel. Put it on there. While I'm still splitting it, sometimes I may have to. And then I twist it just like this. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I'm trying to show y'all the best way I can because y'all been asking about the back of my head. So there we go. Now where the clip at? Oh, it's on the floor. Can't put it on. There we go. Just like that. You can feel where your new growth is. My new growth is right here. Not, yeah, yeah. My new growth is exactly right there. So there we go. That's how you do that side. Now I'm about to show you the other side. Now here go the other side. This is my left side now. Same amount of gel as I used on the other side. Well, this might be a lot more, but it don't matter. The more olive oil, the better, I guess. Just don't drown your hair in olive oil, bro. I'm trying to gather it all up. Then grab some of this. Some of this gel, put it on. While splitting it, you know what I mean? And then you twist it just like this. Now me, I usually twist it this side with my left hand, like I said earlier, and this side with my right hand. That's just for convenience. You can twist your hair all the same way. You can do the towel rub method, which I'm not probably gonna show y'all cause I don't want to do that with my hair. And there you go, there go the two parts. 
that's how I retwist my dreads. I'm about to show y'all the end result in like an hour or so. Sometimes it takes two hours, I'll be getting distracted. But we gonna see, so I'm gonna catch y'all when my hair is fully done. Two hours later. You ready for the final result? All right, three, two, one. Psych! <laughs> gotcha. All right, so here we go to end the result, you know what I'm saying? I got the clips in like this section and some of this section, but I ain't got none in the back, so I'm about to show y'all the back. Well, here we go to the left side. No, I'm not gonna show y'all the back. Here we're back so far. I'm gonna take out these clips in like five minutes, so it's still something in my eye, dude. Your hands gonna get all wrinkly. My fingers, like I've been in the pool or something. Every finger that touched gel got like wrinkles in it. But yeah, retwisting dreads is not hard. If you wanna get dreads, I advise you to really get dreads, especially while you're young, cause why not just grow your hair out and then cut it when you get older? To the people that keep cutting and growing their hair, bro, you tripping, bro. Because one day your hair not going to grow back. I advise you to just grow your hair out, cut it when you older. Then if it don't grow back, you won't even be mad because you didn't have hair for so long. But yeah, this process took like, I was really rushing. So it took like 45 minutes. It might not be the best re results, but you could probably see the squares or the parts still. I don't know what shape they is. They like, some of them triangle, some of them like, like these and like this. Who knows how they going to turn out? Dude, my eye is tweaking. I'm gonna catch y'all when, when I'm done taking out all these clips and stuff. I might be in a rush, so I might not say too much because I gotta go somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all when I take these clips out. So here go the end of the result, you see you. Now, when you first retwist them, your hair gonna be like, sorry, I got some dog shedded fur on my pants. You, they gonna be soft. Like, they gonna be a little soft, like fluffy. Like, they can come out, but they not. Ooh, this one might, this one coming up. This one always the one that be coming out, bro. It's always gonna be that one dread that just do something different from the other one. Here go the top. Wait, can y'all see? Yeah, here go the top. Here go the left side. Here go my right side. And then y'all seen the back before, but here go the back. So yeah, that's how I retwist my dreads. I'm about to put it in the do-rag so it can lay down. I advise you to like really style your hair after you get done retwisting it so it can stay tight and locked in for a longer time and it like protects your hair from like breakage and stuff but yeah that's basically the end of this video like the video if you like the video comment down more dread videos y'all want me to do i got more coming your way to help you grow your dreads maintain your dreads and keep them fresh share this video with anyone that you know that has dreads and yes yeah, so once again good no game we out